1636. Today I just got a package in the mail from uh, New Jersey from a customer over there, Anthony. This actually came from uh, the UK RS Props, but he had to send it to me so that I could put it together for him. So I'm going to go ahead and un uh, unbox it so we can check it out. This is uh, similar to other kits that I built, and it's going to be a five piece design. So it has to be painted. This is a SC. It is only one for the, the dome. The back part is two. The face or the visors three, and then the face is four, and then the greeble. So this is four piece. This one will be slightly more. We got some plastic. We have the little stripes here, kill stripes, rank stripes, vents, whatever you want to call them. We have the fish hook right here. And then we have the three, three uh, stripes right there, the chin one here, and then the two back ones back here. So it's a lot easier instead of painting them to go ahead and use the decals. So it has his name, RS Props for Anthony. Back, back form parts, the left hand helmet side, the right hand helmet side, left hand peak side, right hand peak side, the face, chin cup, and this one has a chin cup too, right here. See the chin cup. It doesn't come with the SC, SC though. ABS uh, cover, one uh, center top, one peak joining, one or small sheet for filler, the fixing, two times rivets, two times washers, two replica welding mass fixing, just in case, just like with the decals, if you mess up, you have two of them. Accessories, visor material, hard hat liner. This doesn't have the hard hat liner. Water, uh, these are, uh, I guess, water. Use water, you can slide them around. With spares, cut line details, replica snout, greeble, the front part right here, right down here. And one black elastic for the chin, chin strap. All right, so here's the hard hat liner. Here is, ooh, this is nice. These might be 3D um, printed. So basically, all right, so here's a snout piece, the elastic for the chin strap, the rivet, and, it's, and the RS props, it doesn't come with these. I actually had to get them, the 3M product, and basically the, it looks, it feels like it's a 3D printed. So hopefully they'll hold together. These are actually uh, from a hard hat liner. So it has the same, I don't know if you can really see it. But it has the same knob here on the inside. This is 3D printed. This is actually harder plastic, um, specifically for a face shield. So hopefully these will hold together, but they're definitely nice. Let's see what else do we have here. So we have some ABS uh, strips here. We have the face right here. So this, uh, if I didn't state it earlier, this one is not painted. This one has to be painted because you have to put it together. This one it has a seam back here. So you can see it, but you don't really have to put any Bondo or, or uh, any filler and paint over it. So this one is just straight glossy uh, plastic. This one, you do have to do some body work to it and paint. So here's the visor, the left side of the visor. And then it also has cut lines on it so that you know where to cut. It's been roughly cut, but it needs to be cut more. And the other side of the visor, it's the right side, the other one's the left side. This is the half of the of the side back here, so the whole 
top and then the side. And uh, let me see the details. So it's a little bit different. Right here, this goes in more. This one doesn't quite go in as more. Again, SC, this is RS. And we have the other side. And two more pieces. We have one side, and the other side has the marks already in it so that we know where to cut. So this is uh, the visor, or the face, the, the front piece right here. So this one is different than the SC. The SC comes with a really thick one. You have to put it in the oven and uh, heat it up. It's really hard to do. This one is a lot more flexible. Pretty much what I ended up doing is I broke the SC one, so I just got a visor, and it, the more flexible one is a lot easier to put in. So this is an added bonus with the one piece. And it's got the cut lines on it, so you can cut it out. So the bucket, two pieces, have to be joined right down the center. The face, and then the two pieces that make up the visor, which these three pieces attach to make one. And then right here on the side, once you drill a hole, and also once you drill a hole here, that whole visor will lift up. Just like that. The SC1, even with the 3M bolts, it, it's really hard for me to keep it to where it stays up. Some people have theirs where they can lift it up and it actually stays up. Um, for some reason, I don't know if it's because it's not a really tight fit. So it just doesn't get tight enough to where it'll stay up. So we'll see. Once I put this together, we'll see exactly how well... It'll look once it's together. Um, it's somewhat shiny. Actually, it's, it's got a decent shine on the sides here. The face one is a little bit dull. And uh, these have some shine on it. I, was, uh, I had a friend tell me that when they did it in the movie, they put it together. And if you look really close, you'll see the seam. So... When I put it together, I'm gonna see. I don't. I don't really know if, if I'm gonna like the seam here and the seam here. So more than likely, I'm gonna bond it up, or ABS paste. We'll glue it together, ABS paste it, and then bond it up, and then uh, paint the whole thing. He doesn't want it shiny like this one's shiny. He wants to get a little bit of uh, weathering done to it. So what I end up doing. Once I'm done uh, painting it and weathering it, I'll just make it slightly duller. So it'll still have a little bit of a shine from the paint. And I'll just use Rattle Can because I was asking if you wanted me to use automotive paint to make it really shiny and then the paint will be more durable. He said he wanted it weathered, so I'm just going to use Rattle Can and then uh, dirty it up. So that way over time it'll weather more and then uh, you'll see more of the battle damage. Kind of like this one. You can kind of see just the dirt and just a little bit of mix here and there from other black marks. Kind of give it a slight weathering. But we'll go more weathering than, than this one is. Alright, so my next video, I'll, I'll show you um, once I sand all these down and then kind of mock them up. And then uh, this piece, this plastic piece right here, you'll basically cut a circle. And that'll help glue this half to the other half. And then this one, I'm going to have to figure out a way to glue these two together. Or I'm going to put one underneath because this kind of comes down enough. And look at here, it comes down enough to where you can glue a small piece right here on, on this one. And then it'll help glue those two together. And then obviously, ABS paste it, then uh, sand it, bond it, sand it, paint it, and you won't even see the mark on this side. And then this one, just ABS paste all the way down and sand it. And one of my other ones, I did use a strip, and more than likely, I'll just probably use this one. And just go a little section at a time. Just cut out a little bit, and then do it until it's filled in all the way. So that way, when I ABS paste it, it has some kind of plastic behind it so it just doesn't go everywhere inside the helmet. So 
So all in all, it looks really good. This is a very well made helmet. It's going to look even better uh, once I cut it out. And if you're going tier three, some people put the mesh in here. Um, for tier three, you don't put any mesh for Lancer. You don't put any mesh. Well, actually, it wouldn't be tier three because Lancer is, is the next tier up. So it'd probably be considered tier two. And I have one, I think this might be the chin cup. Yep. So I have the, the chin one, it's two pieces. I'm just gonna have to figure out exactly how I'm supposed to put these two together and then I'll make the chin cup. This one I just made out of a, a spare piece of plastic that I had and it's not 100% accurate, but it, it pretty much goes around the chin. So I have to look at uh, different uh, pictures and see how they made the chin cup. Alright, TK1636, I'm out. Okay, I finally finished trimming it with the uh, pin snips and I've sanded it and I just put it together just to see what it looks like. Probably going to trim a couple pieces right here. I don't like how it lines up here and on this side. It's a little, just a little bit off. Um, I have it taped on. Maybe I can move the face down just a little bit to make it line up more. But I still don't really like that, uh, that edge right here. So I'll see. But I've trimmed out the actual... Uh, where the 3M screws go, go in. I made a little rectangle so they fit in better. Drilled a little hole and made a rectangle. And then just in the, the bucket part, the two halves, I drilled a hole. But I've got it, I've used it on a belt sander and I got it sanded down pretty good. There's very little uh, bit of a gap, maybe just a tiny bit. What I'm gonna do probably tomorrow is cut out a nice little oval and then uh, when I put them together, I'll, I'll just do the oval first. So I'll get them as close as possible as I can. And then in the back, before I glue them together, I'll go ahead and, uh, and heat these up, the strip, so that it, it goes, it contours with the helmet up until it meets to uh, where I make the oval. And I'll do that in the front also. And then right here, I won't put a piece. Behind the face, I'll put a piece of uh, plastic from here to here. I'll go ahead and show you the 3M bolt. I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to use this uh, hard hat liner because the bolts aren't very long, so it's going to be really close. I'll have to wait and see uh, once I get to that point. I'll show you what I did with the, with the face, though. And these also aren't very very strong so I don't know if I would want to use these bolts because they're 3d printed to hold this in I'll show you right here how I have it attached so I made a little rectangle if you look on the end of here it's kind of a rectangle and I made a rectangle here so when it goes in it just snaps I got it really tight, so it just snaps right in, and it fits right in there. Same thing with the other side. Just made a little rectangle. And then what I was saying here is I used just a little piece on this side. I won't really put one on this side. And what I'm, there's a, there's a little edge right here. It kind of goes in. The same thing with the face, it goes in. So you line it up there, you line it up here. And the way I have it taped, I'm probably going to bring it in just a little bit so that the end is, is flusher with the, with the visor, the face. Kind of like how I have it here. I'm still debating on if I want to cut this extra off. Now, I'm still going to paint the whole thing. So uh, it doesn't matter if I cut this off or not. Also, um, on, he makes beautiful lines. I love this RS kit. Because I just followed the line. There's nothing where I had to measure anything. I just followed the lines, trimmed it out. But I thought it was kind of weird how instead of it just going straight like this, he kind of made it curve just a little bit. 
And when I put it on the helmet, I notice when it's about right here, then it curves around the bucket. So I thought that was pretty neat. And I also noticed too, that this visor, I'm gonna have to trim it just a tiny bit once I get it all done, all glued together, because it, it's gonna end up hitting the paint right here. So I'm just gonna trim just a tiny bit, not much, just enough so when it goes up and down, it, it clears right here. But all in all, it's a very good kit. I, I love it. Um, I have to, I'm working on a scalp myself for me, and the only thing I'm missing is is uh, RS. The only problem with the RS compared to the SC is you got to paint it and I don't really like to paint the armor and then wear it unless it's a clone or a death trooper or zombie trooper because it doesn't matter how beat up it gets unless you're going dirty with the the, the biker scout then it doesn't really matter. Also here's a chin cup. I've uh, sanded that down. Got it done. I still have not figured out what these two pieces are unless they're pieces that somehow um, he glues them with. I don't know. I'll have to look into that more. Somebody's bound to know. And then the visor, I went ahead and trimmed it out and I just taped the cover back on, the protective cover, because that's going to be a minute so I don't want it to get all scratched up. And then I still need to put in the rivets and then this uh, chin strap. And then also, if I'm not mistaken, I need to put a little slot here and here. And that's where the, the chin the elastic goes through. But uh, it didn't come with instructions. And I've only built a couple kits like this, not the RS. This is the first one I've, I've actually built as the RS. The other kits are very similar. So it's still kind of a learning experience for me, but with him making the lines, it makes it so much easier. All right, this is TK1636. Next time I check in, I should have it together, and then I'll show you to you then.